space. So as I spoke about chin implant, and in that uh, session I had explained to you how there are different aspects of our face, how there are three different parts of our face, like the upper face, the middle part of the face, and the lower part of the face. So lower part of the face is as important as the upper and middle part of our face. Lower part of the face can either make a face look masculine or it can make a face look feminine. So some individuals have a lot of heaviness in the lower part of the face. That is because their jawbone is quite broad. So this surgery for chin reduction is to contour the chin area and make the lower part of the face appear slimmer. So today's topic is going to be on chin reduction. I am Dr. Parag Telan. I am the founder and director of Designer Bodies, our center for advanced cosmetic surgery located in Mumbai, India. This surgery is essentially to reduce and contour lower part of the face. So who are good candidates for this surgery? There are individuals who are having a lot of width to the lower part of their face. That is because it's not only the chin but the entire jaw which is heavy and sometimes we combine chin reduction along with reduction of the jawline itself. So if somebody has a width which is wide from angle to angle or in a male from here to here then the entire part of the lower face or the jaw can be contoured and this is called as a jaw shave surgery or a jaw reduction surgery not only a chin reduction. So when we talk of a V-line surgery or a jaw shave surgery, it is essentially like this. So in this, there are two things that can be done. If the jaw is broad at the angle or at the corner, we can shave off the corner portion of each jaw. And this particular procedure has been called as an angle shave. If somebody needs a complete contouring instead of stopping here the entire bone up to the chin area is contoured and reduced and this is called as a jaw shave along with the chin reduction so because it gives like a v shape to the lower part of the face this part of the surgery is also sometimes called as a v line surgery a v line surgery is an intraoral surgery there are no cuts or no marks on the outside it is done completely from inside the mouth. We now use a machine called as piezo. Piezo is a device which is like a bone cutting saw. But the beauty of this machine is that it works on ultrasonic energy. So because it works on ultrasound, it acts only on the bone. It does not act on the nerves. It does not act on the soft tissues. So the chances of damage to any of the surrounding structures is minimized. And plus, it does not cause any bone loss when the bone is being cut. So the cuts that are made on the bone are very precise and it has really transformed the way we used to do a jaw shave surgery at our center. We now have a piezo device for the past two years and I can definitely tell you that piezo is a very important instrument to have when somebody is doing a jaw shave surgery. Now, of course, this surgery can give a very dramatic effect to the face. This is an example of a V-line jaw shave with a chin reduction. This particular lady wanted to reduce the lower part of her face. She wanted a particular kind of a look. How much the chin can be reduced or how much the jaw can be reduced is also of course dependent on what the patient wants. So this particular lady wanted a, lo a lot of slimming on the lower jaw or she liked a, a certain kind of a look on the jaw and the chin and the contouring has been done as per her wish. She had come from Australia and you can see that when she sent me a photo a month later, the jawline is completely transformed. The chin is looking that much slimmer and the face has completely changed. She looks like a totally different individual with the help of this procedure called as a V-line jaw shave. So similarly, if somebody has a concern for the width of the lower part of the face, where the jawline is heavy or where the angle of the jaw is heavy and the chin is heavy, we can contour this entire portion of the face by doing a V-line jaw shave with chin reduction. 
this surgery takes around 2 hours to 2 and a half hours it is done as i said from inside the mouth so after the surgery there are some stitches inside the mouth so post surgery you will have some swelling on the jaw there will be some loose skin on the jaw line for the swelling to reduce it takes around 10 to 15 days and for the final effect of this surgery where the skin will nicely tighten and get reattached to the muscle or to the bone it is going to take around two months so i would say the total downtime for this surgery is one and a half to two months so you can see that even in this particular patient she has sent me a photo one and a half month later and you can see that now the jawline has started to look very nice and slim so it does need time for recovery now it is not that we always need to cut the bone to elongate the chin or to make the give the effect of a slim jawline sometimes we need to add so what we add is a small chin implant which is not very broad so the chin implant sits just at the center it does not give too much of uh, horizontal width to the jaw it gives just projection let me show you an example so this particular lady her concern was that the central part of the face or the chin was quite round and she wanted a slimmer face or she wanted the face to look a little longer and therefore we have used the chin implant in the central part of her jawline and you can see that the face looks much slimmer the face looks more balanced before surgery if you look at her face the upper part and the middle part of the face were quite broad and the chin was small so overall the face used to look round so she hated this roundness of her face and she wanted a face which was more vertical or more oval addition of a chin implant has helped us achieve that so post surgery if you look at her face now her face looks oval that's because the chin implant has elongated the inferior part of the lower part of her face and that has helped us achieve what she wanted. This is a two-third view and you can see that before surgery the chin was really really small and post surgery you can see that she has a beautiful chin and that has also helped her improve the entire jawline. You can see how broad the jaw used to look before and a little bit of projection on the chin has ensured that the entire jawline has also uh, become stretched or the entire lower part of the face has been completely transformed. Of course, I have done additional procedures for her upper face, for the middle face to feminize her face because this was a part of a facial feminization surgery. But the focus of discussion today would be on the chin. So chin reduction can also be achieved by putting a small chin implant which will lengthen the chin vertically and it will reduce the horizontal width of the chin thereby giving the effect of a slimmer chin or a more long face. Now the third type of procedure that we normally perform for a reduction of the chin bone is something called as a sliding genioplasty. In a sliding genioplasty, there is a cut which is made on the chin bone, what I have shown as a dotted line. And these uh, cuts are done in such a way that they maintain the blood supply to this bone. This bone is then shifted forward and it is fixed with very small titanium plate and screws. So what it does is it gives the effect of projection. You can see in the CT scan done after the surgery that this is the segment of the bone which has been moved forward and these are the titanium uh, plates which have been used to fix the chin. So this is called as a sliding genioplasty. Now in a sliding genioplasty there are multiple options in how we can lengthen the face or how we can make the chin look uh, slimmer or uh, sharper. You can either make a cut which is oblique and move this fragment forward if somebody has a very small chin or a retruded chin. If somebody wants to increase the vertical height of the face, this cut fragment can also be moved downwards and thereby we can either make the face look longer or we can make the face look more projected forwards. This type of surgery is very satisfying. There is nothing artificial in this surgery. It's your own bone which is cut, reshaped and fixed. So the result remains for a lifetime. Now, whenever I get patients who come to me for a jaw shave or for chin reduction, I sometimes feel that uh, they have unrealistic expectations. 
So what do I mean by unrealistic expectation? I would have patients coming to me saying that make my jaw absolutely slim. I don't want anything on my jaw. My jaw should look very very slim and small. Okay, but do you know how much we can slim your jaw or how much we can reduce the bone? Because there is a very important limiting factor. Beyond this factor, we cannot reduce the jaw. And it's important as a patient to understand this limitation. The limitation is this. You can see that there are two tiny dots that are shown in the lower part of the CT scan and these two small dots are the portions from where a nerve comes out. This nerve is called as a mental nerve. So this mental nerve is a nerve which comes out through a small opening in the lower part of the jaw. It runs on the skin and the muscle and it supplies the lower lip. We cannot reduce the jaw bone more than where there is a uh, presence of this mental nerve. So this uh, is something which is important and this is something which we need to take care of. Rustic Stairs is saying I mail you but no reply please check your mail. Okay I will do that. Uh, the, could you send me the name of your email address from which you have sent me the email that will help because we keep getting lot of emails. So just send me your email address and I will check on that. So as I was talking to you, the effect of jaw slimming can be achieved maximally only up to the exit point of the nerve. So in some patients, the nerve may exit from a little higher location. In some patients, it may exist from a little bit of lower location. So how much of the bone can be reduced or how much of jaw shave can be achieved would also depend on your CT scan findings. Before this surgery, we do something called as a 3D CT scan of the mid face where the entire three dimensional structure of the face, face is studied and on the basis of the CT scan, we can then guide you to how we can shave the jawbone. The main advantages of a chin reduction surgery are that it's a permanent surgery. It does not need any maintenance. So it is not like doing a HA filler where you need to keep doing a filler almost like every year. It is permanent. The changes that we can achieve with a jaw reduction or with a chin reduction are quite dramatic and visible. This surgery also as I showed you is highly customizable. So it is not one single type of surgery. We can do a sliding genioplasty. We can do a T osteotomy. We can do a chin implant. So it's a highly customizable surgery depending on what the patient requires and there are no external marks. It's a completely internal surgery. The stitches that are used after this surgery are all dissolving stitches. They normally uh, dissolve in a period of two to three weeks. So for five, six days, we encourage patients to be on liquids. So you can have soups or you can have fruit juices. It is better to avoid uh, eating solids for at least four to five days. You will be given uh, a mouth rinse like a betadine gargle where you need to rinse your mouth to keep it uh, clean inside so that the stitches heal fine. And most important, after the surgery, you are given something called as a chin strap. So this chin strap is like a cotton belt which goes like this and it fixes on the top. So this chin strap gives good compression to the cheeks, to the neck, to the jawline and that ensures that the skin and the muscle tighten up nicely. This chin strap needs to be worn all the time at least for two to three weeks because don't forget all the muscles of our neck, they are all joined to the lower part of the bone. When this bone itself is shaved off, the skin and the muscle becomes loose. In patients who are older, who are above their 50s, we now sometimes combine this with a neck lift where the neck skin is also pulled backward. And if the skin of the muscle or of the face is not very loose, then we just recommend that a patient should wear a chin strap and with the presence of compression of the chin strap, the skin tightens up very nicely. So these were the advantages of the jaw shave. Now what are the things that one needs to be aware of when getting this surgery done? Is it safe? Is it risky? What kind of risk is involved? So this could be in the form of numbness of the lower lip. So as I explained to you, numbness is because there is a nerve which goes 
from the jaw to the lower lip and this nerve is called as the mental nerve and post surgery this nerve can get blocked for few weeks few months and patients do experience numbness of the lower lip lasting up to 2 to 3 months there may be swelling of the lower lip which remains for around 2 weeks to 3 weeks because the lower lip becomes numb there is drooling of the saliva so you have to use a handkerchief all the time to wipe the saliva because it keeps drooling out this can cause a little bit of social embarrassment initially so don't do it at a time when you have some important events or functions at least 2 3 weeks you can have uh, swelling on the lower lip or little bit drooling of the saliva you may need additional procedures to tighten the neck skin such as a neck lift which i explained to you about but when you look at it as a procedure it can be really transformational if you take a look at this ct scan which is before surgery uh, see how broad the chin is and you look at the ct scan post surgery and you realize that the chin is now contoured it has become very small and it has given a very good change to the width of the face you see how before the surgery the chin area especially was very broad and horizontal and after the surgery it now looks like a proper v line jaw shape so this kind of surgery can be really transformational i have seen patients uh, come to me with very broad chins or very broad jaw lines and with this particular surgery we are able to really give them a great satisfaction and slimming effect on the lower part of the face chin reduction surgery as i said is a 2 and a half to 3 hour surgery you will be given antibiotics iv during the surgery and post surgery you will be on oral antibiotics for 8 to 10 days chin strap is a very important part of your recovery you need to wear it all the time for at least 2 weeks to 3 weeks and uh, then as the bone heals as the swelling reduces you can reduce the number of hours uh, that you wear this strap and it will uh, give you a very good effect as i said any surgery that you do on the face the swelling is visible to people so don't plan this surgery at a time uh, when you have some important event or when you have some important weddings or some shoots or anything like that you need to have a clear cut time of 2 to 3 weeks to plan this surgery so planning is something which needs to be done properly from the surgeon's perspective we need to do planning of how much bone to remove what kind of surgery to use and how to achieve an optimal result and from the patient point of view you need to plan when to do the surgery so that there is a good amount of time that you get post surgery for rest and recovery so this was some information about chin reduction if you have any queries related to this procedure you can message me and i will reply back to your messages in the comment box don't forget to subscribe to our channel dr parag telang and we keep uploading uh, informative videos which are purely for patient education and if you like watching these videos you can subscribe to my channel and i'm sure uh, you will get lot of information which is scientific which is not biased and which will help you uh, get a more clarity about any particular procedure that you are planning to do for any other questions which i have not been able to answer today just message me in the comment box and i'll be happy to answer your questions i thank you all for attending today's uh, live and i'll catch you all next week with another topic of interest till then good night and stay safe